Hi everyone, I am Theripka. Today we are going to discussing about Lagrange's mean value theorem. So before going to discussing about this, we have to know the statement of Lagrange's mean value theorem. For this Lagrange's mean value theorem, first you have to know what is that statement. So for this, you have to consider a function f of x and this f of x should be continuous means it is continuous and closed interval a comma b. So what is closed interval? It including a and b and in between values also. At the same time this f of x is also derivable on open interval a comma b. It is excluding the value of a and b. For these two conditions after that it has then there exists a point c belongs to open interval a comma b in the form of f dash of c is equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a. By using this theorem now we have to solve a problem. So what is the problem? Prove that b minus a by 1 plus b square less than tan inverse b minus tan inverse a less than b minus a by 1 plus a square. For this by using Lagrange's mean value theorem first you have to consider a function f of x. According to this problem here f of x is let f of x is equal to tan inverse x. Clear? So this f of x should be continuous. Here tan inverse x is clearly it is a continuous function. Then it should be derivable. Means it exists a derivable. f dash of x is equal to what is the derivative of tan inverse x? 1 by 1 plus x square. So it is continuous and it is derivable. Then there exists a point C belongs to open interval A comma B such that F dash of C is equal to F of B minus F of A whole by B minus A. So here F dash of X is equal to 1 by 1 plus X square. Now replacing X with C we get 1 by 1 plus C square. Clear? So for this condition now we have to do so here f of x is equal to tan inverse x by using this now f of a is equal to tan inverse a and f of b is equal to tan inverse b clear so by using this condition f dash of c means what what we get 1 by 1 plus c square that is equal to f of b what is f of b here tan inverse b minus tan inverse a whole by b minus a clear so by lagrange's mean value theorem so when it is continuous and derivable then there exists a point c belongs to open interval a comma b. I already told that open interval a comma b means it excluding the value of a and b means the c lies between a and b clearly a less than c less than b in the same way a square less than c square less than b square. Now I am adding 1. So 1 plus a square less than 1 plus c square less than 1 plus b square. Okay now. So what is f dash of x here? 1 by 1 plus c square. What is f dash of c? 1 by 1 plus c square. Now we have to convert this 1 plus c square like 1 by 1 plus c square. So what we have to get? 1 by 1 plus a square. This less than becomes greater than by 1 by 1 plus c square greater than 1 by 1 plus b square. Clear? Next. So, 1 by 1 plus a square is greater than what is 1 by 1 plus a square tan inverse b minus tan inverse a whole by b minus a. So, what is here greater than 1 by 1 plus b square clear. So, now only by according to problem only I have to get only tan inverse b minus tan inverse a. 
So there is extra term b minus j. How I can remove this? By multiplying this b minus j with all this term, it can remove. That means what I will get b minus a by 1 plus a square will greater than tan inverse b minus tan inverse, sorry, tan inverse a greater than b minus a by 1 plus b square. By our problem, b minus a by 1 plus b square is less than tan inverse b minus tan inverse a is less than b minus a by 1 plus a square. Now I am reversing this, what I have to get? b minus a by 1 plus b square is greater than becomes less than tan inverse b minus tan inverse a less than b minus a by 1 plus a square. So this is the condition what I have to prove, hence prove. So now what is the assignment question is, in the same way you have to find the relation b minus a by square root of 1 minus a square less than sin inverse b minus sin inverse a less than b minus a by square root of 1 minus a square. This is the assignment question. Clear? Thank you everyone. So by using this condition, now we are proving these two conditions. So what is the condition here? b minus a by 1 plus b square less than tan inverse b minus tan inverse a less than b minus a by 1 plus a square. By using that condition, now we are proving these two conditions. So what is the first condition here? Pi by 4 plus 3 by 25 less than tan inverse 4 by 3 less than pi by 4 plus 1 by 6. So whenever we, we are proving this type of condition, first you have to compare what we have previous condition, what we are proving the condition. So here just you can compare in place of tan inverse b minus tan inverse a, here tan inverse 4 by 3. So here it is positive sign. And now it, when, you are, when we are comparing, what is the positive sign here? Tan inverse b. So simply for the first solution, you can consider let b value is equal to 4 by 3, is it not? Because overall these condition, what are the terms here? a and b. So first we are considering the value of b is equal to 4 by 3. And what about a? So here we have the condition pi by 4 plus 3 by 25. So whenever we are proving, we have to get pi by 4. So what is the function here? Tan inverse x. So tan inverse x mean we have trigonometric tables. So in that tan function, in tan pi by 4, the value is a1. So let a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 4 by 3. So if in case there are pi by 6, you, hand, you can take another value. So according to this condition, you can take the value of a. Clear? So now a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4 by 3. So what is the condition we have? b minus a by 1 plus b square less than tan inverse b minus tan inverse a less than b minus a by 1 plus a square. Here. So now we are substituting the values of a and b. So what is b here? 4 by 3. So what is the value of a? 1 whole by 1 plus what is the value of b? 4 by 3. So 4 by 3 whole square less than tan inverse. What is the value of b here? 4 by 3 minus tan inverse. What is the value of a? 1 less than b minus a means what? 4 by 3 minus 1 whole by 1 plus what is the value of a? 1. 1 square means we get only 1. Clear? So now so 4 by 3 minus 1. What is the LCM here in the numerator? 3. That means 4 minus 3 by 3 whole by 
So 1 plus 4 by 3 whole square means 16 by 9. Less than tan inverse 4 by 3 less than when will you get the value of 1 in the tan function? Tan pi by 4. Clear? Less than 4 by 3 minus 1 means what? 4 minus 3 whole by 3. 1 plus 1 means we get 2. So 4 minus 3 means 1 by 3 whole by, what is the sum here? 9. 9 into 1, 9. 9 plus 16 means 25 whole by 9. Less than tan inverse 4 by 3. Here tan inverse is there at the same time tan is there. So these both are cancel. What we get? Pi by 4. Less than 4 minus 3 means we get 1 by 3 whole by 2. So whenever two fractions are there, the fr fraction in the denominator will be reciprocal. That means 1 by 3 into 9 by 25 less than tan inverse 4 by 3 minus pi by 4 less than 1 by 3. So what is the fraction here? 2 by 1. It will become 1 by 2. So what will you get now? So these 3 in 3 times. 3 by 25 less than tan inverse 4 by 3 minus pi by 4 clear plus 1 by 3 into 1 by 2 sorry less than 1 by 6. So what we have to prove pi by 4 plus 3 by 25 tan inverse 4 by 3 less than pi by 4 plus 1 by 6. What is the extra term here minus pi by 4. How we have to remove this? By adding pi by 4. So pi by 4 plus 3 by 25 less than tan inverse 4 by 3 less than pi by 4 plus 1 by 6. So the first condition was proved. Like that we are proving the next condition. Clear? So here what is there? Tan inverse 2. In place of b, there is the value of 2. So let b is equal to 2. Clear? So here is also there 5 pi by plus 4 whole by 20. Means when we are splitting, we get 5 pi by 20. Means pi by 4. Here also pi by 4. So we are considering the function tan inverse x. So what we have to take the value? Tan pi by 4. So the value of tan pi by 4 is 1. Here also a is equal to 1. So what we will get? So let us see. So a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2. b minus a means what we have to get? 2 minus 1 by 1 plus b square. What is the value of b? 2. 2 square means 4 less than tan inverse b means tan inverse 2 minus tan inverse 1 less than b minus a means 2 minus 1 whole by 1 plus a square means we get 1. Okay, clear? Now, clear? So, 2 minus 1 means what we have to get? 1 whole by 4 plus 1 means 5 less than tan inverse 2 minus tan inverse when we will get the value of 1? Tan pi by 4. Clear. Less than 2 minus 1 means 1 whole by 2. Clear. So 1 by 5 is less than tan inverse 2 e minus. So tan inverse and tan both will cancel. What we will get? Pi by 4 less than 1 by 2. So according to our condition, what we have to get only tan inverse 2. Here what is the extra term here? Minus pi by 4. How can I remove this by adding pi by 4? So I am adding pi by 4. Pi by 4 plus 1 by 5 less than. So I am adding pi by 4 plus pi by 4 and minus pi by 4 will cancel. Less than pi by 4 plus 1 by 2. Clear? So what I have to get? 5 pi plus 4 by 20. So, what is the LCM here? 4 pi is 20. What is in the denominator? 4. So, now 5 pi plus 1 into 4 means 4 
less than tan inverse to less than so what is the LCM here 4 so already 4 is there so I get 4 next plus 2 clear so this is the condition what I have to prove clear so now the assignment question is by using Lagrange's mean value theorem you have to prove b minus a by square root of 1 minus a square less than sin inverse b minus sin inverse a is less than b minus a by square root of 1 minus b square. So, clear? So, in the same way you have to prove this condition. So, now we are going to discuss about another problem. So, here what we have to prove is prove that if x greater than 0 x minus x square by 2 is less than log of 1 plus x less than x minus x square by 2 into 1 plus x. For this condition you have to consider f of x. Here we are splitting this function into two functions. Here what is f of x here? x minus x square by 2 minus log of 1 plus x. Here we are solving this problem by using Lagrange's mean value theorem. So what is the statement of Lagrange's mean value theorem? It should be continuous and it is also derivable. Means this function f of x has a derivative. So f dash of x. So what is the derivative of x here? 1. Then 1 by 2 is constant. What is the derivative of x square? 2 x. So it is in the form of log x. So what is the derivative of log x? 1 by 1 plus x. So now f dash of x is equal to 1 minus these two and this two will be cancelled. 1 minus x, 1 by 1 plus x. Clear? So now f dash of x is equal to, so what is the LCM here? 1 plus x. Clear? So in this denominator there is no element, means it has 1. So 1 into 1 plus x is 1 plus x and minus x into 1 plus x here the denominator is already 1 plus x so that means we have to consider 1 1 into 1 is 1 so f dash of x is equal to 1 plus x so x into 1 plus x means minus x so minus into plus minus x into x x square minus 1 whole by 1 plus x So now f dash of x is equal to, so what is the numerator here? So 1 plus x minus x minus x square minus 1. So here plus 1 and minus 1 will be cancelled. At the same time plus x, sorry, plus x and minus x will be cancelled. So what is there? Minus x square by 1 plus x. So clearly there is a negative sign means it will be less than 0. So what is here? f dash of x is less than 0. So if f dash of x is less than 0, then clearly f of x is also less than 0. Clear? So what is f of x here? x minus x square by 2 minus log of 1 plus x. So it will be less than 0. So now x minus x square by 2, so minus log of 1 plus x will be considered as plus log of 1 plus x. So this is the condition 1. Clear? So another function we have to consider is, so here, so let g of x is equal to, so for this log of 1 plus x and consider minus x plus x square by 2 into 1 plus x, clear? For this also you have to find g dash of x. So what is the derivative of log of 1 plus x? It is 1 by x. In place of x there is 1 plus x, means 1 by 1 plus x. So what is the derivative of x? 1 plus now it is in the form of u by v. For u by v what is the formula? v du minus 
u dv by v square. So what is u here? x square. And what is v here? 2 into 1 plus x. So v du, what is the v here? 2 into 1 plus x. u means x square. So du means derivative of u. So derivative of u means derivative of x square. It will be 2x. Clear? Minus u. What is u here? x square into dv means derivative of v. What is the v here? 2 into 1 plus x. For 2 into 1 plus x, so what is here? 1 is constant. So derivative of any constant what is 0? So 2 into 0 means 0. Next, what is their variable x? So what is the derivative of x? 1. So 2 into 1, 2. Clear? Whole by v square means 2 into 1 plus x whole square. Clear? So now g dash of x is equal to 1 by 1 plus x minus 1 plus 2 into 1 plus x means 2 plus 2x into 2x minus x square into 2 means 2x square whole by 2 into 1 plus x whole square means 4 into 1 plus x whole square is it not a b whole square means a square into b square so what is the digital so g dash of x is equal to 1 by 1 plus x minus 1 plus 2 plus 2x into 2x means what 2 into 2x 4x plus 2x into 2x 4x square next minus 2x square whole by 4 into 1 plus x whole square so now g dash of x is equal to what is the LCM here 4 into 1 plus x whole square. So already 1 plus x is there. What is the another term? 4 into 1 plus x. Here in the denominator no term is there. That means 4 into 1 plus x whole square. So when coming to this plus 4x square and minus 2x square. It will be 2x square and 4x. So 4 into 1 plus x. So 4 plus 4x minus 4 into 1 plus x square means 1 plus x square plus 2x because it is in the form of a plus b whole square plus 2x square plus 4x whole by 4 into 1 plus x whole square. So now 4 plus 4x now multiplying this with 4 minus 4 into 1 minus 4 Next, minus 4 into x square, minus 4x square. Next, minus 4 into 2x, minus 8x. So, plus 2x square, plus 4x, whole by 4 into 1 plus x, whole square. So, now, here is plus 4 and is minus 4. So, plus 4 minus 4 will be cancelled. Next, plus 4x, plus 4x means 8x minus 8x will be cancelled. So minus 4x square plus 2x square. It will be minus 2x square whole by 4 into 1 plus x whole square. So g dash of x is equal to minus 2x square by 4 into 1 plus x whole square. So minus means negative means it will be less than 0. So clearly what we have get g dash of x is less than 0 g dash of x is less than 0. So what is g dash of x here? 1 by sorry log of 1 plus x minus x plus x square by 2 into 1 plus x is less than 0. So now so here log of 1 plus x is placed here. So minus x will become as plus x and this plus x square by 2 into 1 plus x will become minus x square by 2 into 1 plus x. This is the condition 2. So what is the condition from previous from 1 is equal to what we have got from 1 x minus x square by 2 minus log of 1 plus 
x is less than 0 that will be x minus x square by 2 less than log of 1 plus x this is the condition 1. So, when comparing 1 and 2 what we have get? So, from 1 and 2 see here. So, what is there? x minus x square by 2 is less than log of 1 plus x. So, from condition 2 what we have? Log of 1 plus x means this less than x square minus x minus x square by 2 into 1 plus x. This is the condition what we have to prove. Okay. So, these type of problems are very very important in Lagrange's mean value theorem. So, this is about Lagrange's mean value theorem. So, what is Lagrange's mean value theorem? For Lagrange's mean value theorem, you have to consider the function f of x. Clear? This function f of x should be continuous on open sorry on closed interval a comma b. And this function f of x is also derivable on open interval a comma b. So, when the function f of x is satisfying the these two conditions, then there exists a point C which is belongs to open interval a comma b. I have already said that open interval means it excluding the value of a and b, it has only the values in between a and b. So, C belongs to a comma b such that f dash of C is equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a. Clear? So, this is about Lagrange's mean value theorem. Thank you.